This is going to be an interesting twist in the usual videos. This is a bottle security cap from Lidl, and the reason we have it in the first place is because uh, my colleague bought a bottle of gin, and when we got back and went to have our gin and tonic, uh, we discovered there was the security cap on top, and we couldn't open the bottle. I worked out how it worked and uh, popped this little cap off, which releases the spring, but it's an interesting mechanism uh, to see how it works. So you put your bottleneck in here, and when they twist this, these two steel wire ropes close it. There's one that's got, uh, well, both are plastic coated, but one end of each is in a rotating ring, and the other end is locked to the solid casing, and it's spring-loaded, so it wants to, by default, open up. However, there is a little device here which has a ratchet on it, and uh, it's also got a steel slug. It's not a magnet, just a steel slug and a spring. And when this is in place, as you tighten it up, it clicks loudly and it grips around the bottle and it won't go back. And the tighter you twist it, the tighter it grips the bottle. And when they want to release that, they presumably put it into an almost solenoid-like magnet, a cylindrical magnet with a core, uh, that basically pulls this slug back. And as soon as it's pulled back, it releases it. And that's why you hear them bang and bang it, trying to get it to open. In reality, if they put a very slight bit of twist pressure as they put it into the magnet, that would just theoretically pop open and they'd open easily. However, supposing you do uh, try and take one of these out of the place, it should normally set off the alarm. It didn't set off the alarm in this instance. And the reason for that is because this plastic cap in the end here with the directions of twisting it to lock it, it also has a little channel, and in that channel is a tuned circuit and a piece of foam to actually just hold it in position and then a plastic cap over that. Let me bring in the notepad to show you how this works. I'll show you the full thing, in fact. So I shall just zoom down just a little bit more onto this. Oh, wobbly, wobbly, wobbly surface. Uh, focus on that. And we can take a look. So here's the case. There is the fixed inner ring, and there's the outer ring that has the ratchet on it. I've just shown parts of the ratchet. I think it goes all the way around in this. Could be wrong. Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm quite accurate in the area I've covered. It is basically just this area here, because that's all that's needed to close that. There's the little paw that goes into it and stops it winding back, and there's a little slug of metal that is attracted by, presumably, the core magnet that they put it into. I've never really looked at that. Maybe I'll look next time. But I'd expect it would be a big neodymium iron boron magnet. Um, and there's the system whereby, as it rotates, the outer ring here is the one that rotates and just pulls those wires so they physically lock onto the bottle. The tuned circuit that sets off the alarm, I believe, looking on Wikipedia, that there is a standard frequency for this. It's basically a ferrite rod, by the look of it, with a coil, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen turns, look of it, and a little capacitor which is unmarked across that. Um, and this, if you were to drop it in someone's pocket, would conveniently set off the alarm every time they went to Lidl's, or indeed some other shops probably. But that's very simple. I believe it just basically has the antenna transmitting a fixed frequency in the receiver and it detects some sort of variation in that, maybe a, a, a damping of the circuit or perhaps uh, some sort of phase shift caused by this device. Uh, very cheap, very simple. That's also uh, very similar to the way that the paper stickers you get with the coil and then the two pads in very close vicinity that uh, also acts like an inductor and capacitor. But in that case, to deactivate those ones, the uh, pulse it with a uh, high current pulse and it induces enough voltage to break down the insulation capacitor and make it uh, fail short circuit. And when that happens, effectively, it's just a link through and it bypasses the circuit from operating when you remove the deactivated tag. But these ones are not deactivatable. So there we have it. The, um, the little, uh, and probably many other shops, security system, it's quite neat. Basically speaking, uh, just add the wire ropes to grip the bottle and a ratchet with magnetic release to, to take them back off again. Very simple. Actually, quite a clever little device.